Aiden Markram's stream Proteus debut turned into a nightmare as he was run out three runs shy of becoming the seventh South African batsman to score a century in the first time of asking. That moment of miscommunication between Markram and his senior opening partner Dean Alger was the only blemish on what turned out to be a fruitful day for South Africa as they reached A1 stumps in complete control on 2981. Markram's misfortune resulted from a mix-up with Elgar who was nervously sitting on 99 when he called for a quick single, only to change his mind and leave the 22-year-old stranded just before T. When Markram walked back to the pavilion after 54.2 overs Elgar dropped to his knees in disappointment with the knowledge that he had just denied his young partner a golden opportunity of registering triple figures. Despite the huge disappointment there was something to cheer about for the South African as Elgar picked himself up to register his ninth test 103 balls later off 178 deliveries. Elgar and Markram put together 196 runs which was South Africa's first opening partnership of 150 or more runs since Graham Smith and Alviro Peterson against Pakistan in Dubai in 2010. The last South African to score 100 on debut was Stephen Cook when he clocked triple figures off 187 deliveries on day one of the fourth and final test against England at Centurion in January last year. Elgar continued to score runs, and he ended the day unbeaten on 128 off 285 balls with Hashim Amla, having found his mojo on 68 off 103 balls which is bad news for the Bangladeshis. Their partnership was 102. With this delightful knock Elgar is now the leading run scorer in test matches this year, and with three more innings to come in this series he has opportunities to consolidate his position. The suffering for Bangladesh is attributed to the fact that after winning the toss captain Rahim decided to bowl first on this good batting pitch, and they were duly punished by Elgar Markram and Amla. Their bowlers toiled the whole day as they failed to claim a wicket, and the only one of Markram that fell in the 55th was run out. Elgar is also closing in on his highest score in test cricket which is sitting on 140, and if his confident demeanor on Thursday is anything to go by there is every possibility that he will surpass it when they resume on Friday. Times Live